I think that a good pot, it has to kind of reveal something about the maker. You would hope to find life and uh, a kind of response, a sort of brightness. I think it's important that you would want to touch it, to hold it. Craftsmanship is simply the tool which has enabled you to express yourself. Hamada spent the first half of his life learning how to, and the second half forgetting. Uh, in other words, your technique, it's only there to help you. In itself, it's nothing. It can actually hinder you. I make jars that come from the sort of things that I love, that which I've seen all over the world, which had a function once, but I know for a fact that their only function now, that they bring people happiness, some sort of consolation, that these are um, items that they can hold uh, in their hands. If you're going to fire with wood, it's a very, very time-consuming, very, very expensive way of doing it, and the losses are enormous. Throughout the firing, ash is being deposited on the pots. That ash, uh, at high temperature by itself, will melt and make a, um, a glaze. It's not exactly random because when you have experience, then you begin to place pots where you kind of expect something is going to happen. You, you begin to understand different parts of the kiln and so on. I think that a lot of um, oil or gas or electric-fired pots, they can be spectacular, but actually they tell their entire story the first time you see them. With a wood-fired pot, especially ones that come from these very uh, protracted firings, whichever side you look at it, it's different. There's so much going on, it releases its story to you very, very slowly.